Hi, hello, welcome to another video. In this video I will compare or I will um, read this article which compares Python, R and SPSS. So in my opinion, so SPSS is quite limited compared to the other methods of Python and R. However, you can learn SPSS in a few, in few days, but learning Python and R can take some time. And personally, and learning R, R seems to be easier than Python. And and for Python, and there are different ways of um, solving a problem. And the community of Python world obviously more crowded than the R. So here, let's read the read the, this article that compare compare them. So. I try to click the table, but I'm not sure it will open, so so we cannot open it. Um, my vision and data analysis is that there is continuum between explanatory models on one side and predictive mo models on the other side. The decisions you make during the modeling process depending on your depend on your goal. So yeah, obviously, so that if you simply want to only write an article and find some associations and then and spaces might be enough and you don't need to learn uh, python and it will uh, slow down the process the process uh, so they compare when we are looking at spss and sas both of these languages originate from the explanatory side of data analysis they're developed in academic environment where hypothesis testing plays a major role this makes that they have significant less methods and techniques in comparison to R and Python. Uh, so, SAS uh, and SPSS both have data mining tools and SPSS modular. However, these are different tools and you need extra licenses. So you need to pay for them and there are, actually there are no many uh, tools available. For example, if you want to do like random forest, there, there must, there is one way of doing it using only SPSS, and yeah, and but for Python you can, you have more features. You can, uh, you can investigate more things using the code, and you can ask help from the Python community. Um, one of the major advantages of open source tooling is that the community continuously improves and increases functionality. R was created by academics who wanted their algorithms to spread as easily as possible. Um, Python is developed with a strong focus on business applications, not from an academic or statistical standpoint. This makes Python very powerful when algorithms are directly used in applications. So Python is mostly used in data mining and machine learning applications where a data analysis analyst doesn't need to intervene. intervene. And Python is therefore also strong in analyzing images and videos. For example, we have used Python this summer to build our own autonomous driving RC car, easiest language to use when using big data frameworks like Spark. So they mention SPSS and easy as the other one is easy to learn and visualization. So obviously SPSS is better for visualization. Uh, so R and Python are uh, freely available, but you, you may not be able to access Python. Uh, so that's why, sorry, uh, SPSS. But there are ways to crack somehow, but I don't advise it. And um, and it seems to be for you can learn both of them, and you can combine them and compare the results, and your exper your experiences will tell you the. Uh, will help you to conclude and um, so I wish you enjoyed this video and wish you have a beautiful day and you don't need to be excellent in all languages you can just be focused on one of them and then then you can solve your problems hopefully and wish you have a beautiful day bye bye